It is a little bit overwhelming at first, I'm not gonna lie. There are things everywhere. I mean, really- Do you feel me? Yes, actually I do. Where are you? Whoa. I'm feeling a bit of a cold spot here. Are you connected to the house? Or is there something maybe connected to an item inside of the house? Maybe you can give me a clue as to what that might be. That was a REM pod noise again! It's coming through here! I've never heard that before. What's up guys, welcome back to the adventure. We're still on the road here in Ontario, on the way back to Toronto, and uh, I'm currently in a place known as Wawa, Ontario. I was actually here with my good friends Mo and Rennie a couple of years ago. We came through here. Um, I don't even really remember where we stayed, but a lot of the places here, to be honest with you, hotel-wise, really weren't that impressive and a lot of other places are obviously closed for the season etc etc so while i was on the way over here i decided i was going to look on airbnb and see what was available and i found probably the coolest looking airbnb ever there are literally things everywhere um, we're going to explore this place together because i haven't fully looked at everything but there are literally artifacts all over the place and i've been in here for a little bit been hearing a couple noises here and there. I'm not sure if the place is haunted. I might do like a, maybe a little bit of an investigation after we take a look at the entire place. But you guys have to see this. I just absolutely had to share this with you because I've never seen anything like this. And I kind of want to switch it up on the main channel and do a couple of different things because um, it always doesn't have to be like, you know, so crazy with all the paranormal and the Randonautica that we've done. But we're mixing it up. We're doing a lot of like different travel type of stuff as well. We're going to be doing a lot of abandoned explorers. I'm going to a couple of different countries over the next month and a half and uh, there's gonna be a lot of really exciting new content on here and uh, yeah so this is the house uh, first of all I have the entire house to myself and it really was not that expensive let me double check exactly how much it was for one night um, now the thing with Wawa is it's a beautiful area. When we came here the last time, we actually went to this ghost town nearby and uh, it was cool. It was a very, very neat thing. I might actually try and go there tomorrow as well in the morning and um, just kind of see what it looks like during the winter if we can even drive in there because with all the snow out here, it might be a little bit too much of a challenge. So this house cost me $194.72 Canadian. That's cheap. For an entire house on Airbnb, the place had like 4.98 reviews. And I'm like, to me, most of the time it's like, as long as the bed's comfortable, I could care less about the rest. But uh, this place is unique and you are going to understand in a few minutes as to why. Don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. Now let's go and explore. So first things first, after walking in here, it is a little bit overwhelming at first. I'm not going to lie. There are things everywhere but as you kind of start to look closer there's like a lot of really fun quirky items in here clearly items that have been collected from around the world and uh yeah we're gonna start off here with this really funny photo let me actually just uh lower this light a little bit but we got the sanders <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> and then we got this cool photo Oh, there's Bernie Sanders again. Holy, that's hilarious. Oh man. So that was a really, really like um, big meme photo back in what was it? 2020 um, after Joe Biden got elected and inaugurated. But yeah, this is cool. And she has this place fully stocked, which is amazing. There's literally like 14,000 different kinds of coffee which is crazy. Even brown sugar. Oh, look at this spoon. Oh, that's not a spoon. What the heck? Oh, that is so cool. Wow, what a neat uh, neat utensil. <laughs> I love this. And I even noticed this. This caught my eye because you never see this in Airbnbs, but there is freaking espresso. And it's the good kind too, Lavazza. So we've got some other cool things well th these is these are mine i always travel now with my nespresso pods got my own machine but dude like there's a waffle maker there's a blender there's i don't know what this thing is but it's used for something 
We got Bluetooth speakers, <laughs> microwave, obviously. This is great too. Check this out. Fully stocked fridge. And I can have any of this if I really want to. This is all for me. She probably wouldn't say any if can you imagine in one night if I drank like all this pop? I wouldn't do that because I really don't drink any pop or soda or anything like that. But there's cookies, there's nuts, which I might have a little later. Real maple syrup. This is local maple syrup. Look at that. $25 for a jar. And I could use it all if I want. That's amazing. Like that's hospitality at its finest. I'm not gonna lie. Samantha, you did really good. The beer is obviously mine. That was not included. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the kitchen. Lots of uh, neat things all around. Then we move over here. Uh, we got those things. The man with the accordion. The, the girl with the violin. There's a set of binoculars. There's also a marina out there. We'll go and take a look at that in the morning. Holy crap, man. I'm going to be here forever just looking at everything because it's just so cool. We got, I think that's Toronto. I'm having a hard time really telling. I noticed this thing too. Look at this. I don't know if that's real, but there is literally, is it a, I think that's a squid <laughs> in like a dish. <laughs> that's awesome. Lots of uh, dishwares, utensils. That horse thing is really cool. Wow, look at that. Those you can tell are definitely not from here. Like those were probably from a different country somewhere. And we got this chair here. <laughs> and then this giant rock. I don't know what kind of rock that is, but <laughs> yeah. Dude, so much detail. There's literally so much stuff in here. This is insane. I actually love it though. Like this is how you make a house super unique. All right, let's uh, move on in here. Guide, sorry, cruise the Great Lakes. That looks pretty old actually, Canadian Pacific. And I noticed all of these. We have like a bunch of different boxes. I only opened like two of them. Uh, we hope your cat feels better. Thank you. Uh, for setting up the house for us. It's beautiful. It's cute. What is this one? Is that like bark from a tree? kind of hard to read that and I feel like I'm gonna destroy it but yeah like this is what I'm talking about like so many different things I gotta be very careful because I don't want to break anything like look at all this you got ducks up there look at these faces Got a little totem pole. That face is so creepy. <laughs> wow. Still I rise. She literally has a little bit of everything in here. I don't know what this is. It's like a little pouch. It looks pretty old. So yeah, I am going to do like a little bit of an experiment. I do obviously have my ghost equipment with me. Um, this is my favorite piece. I don't know what it is, but after doing, you know, a lot of abandoned places over the years, I just have a thing for cool fireplaces. And that's something you don't see in like most modern homes. I don't know if that was an addition. It kind of looks too new to be, you know, antique. Um, but yeah, <laughs> what else do we got in here? Is that the White House? Oh my God, she literally has the White House. Can I open this? I don't know if this is like locked. Okay, never mind. Let's not open that. Oh, look at that thing. Tuna. It literally says tuna. <laughs> oh man. 
Yep, literally items from all over the world, as you can see. So clearly she's probably an avid traveler and just collects things and then just adds to her home. Well, Airbnb in this case. This thing kind of caught my eye earlier. Look at that. Oh, those move. Oh my God, that's creepy as all hell. Whoa. I'm just trying to imagine like where some of this stuff even comes from. Like, look at that thing. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like a face, but somebody made it out of like metal. Wow. There's a beautiful uh, back porch. We'll probably go and check that out in the morning as well. I noticed all of this stuff too. So, um, not sure where she got it all from. I'd actually love to know. Failure is not an option. I wonder if these are things that she's collected from traveling. We got Las Vegas, which I was just there. A napkin from uh, Nathan's Famous. A hot dog place, Luxor. That's the uh, Pyramid Casino in Vegas. That's crazy. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See, we got like native artifacts too in here. Oh, I didn't even notice these before. There's a whole bunch more. Look at all this. Wow. And uh, I guess there's a basement as well. I have no idea what's down there. Look at all these hand-painted pictures of birds. And then this is the uh, the washroom here. This is cool. This is kind of like a, a neat idea. I don't know if this was originally here, this claw tub, but that is absolutely beautiful. I wonder, I don't know if she like bought it like that. Maybe it came with the house. It is a pretty old house, which kind of makes me believe that there may be a haunting going on here, which we are going to find out in a few moments. But yeah, it's uh, evident that her goal is to probably cover every piece of square inch of wall. And there's, there's another thing that's funny right here. So we have the one bathroom. Is there a toilet in this bathroom? I think there is, right? Yeah, we got one toilet there. And then we got the other toilet over here. <laughs> Look at that. Well, at least when you're on the, the pooper, you have plenty of things to look at and books to read, apparently. <laughs> That's funny. The tiny, cutest little mirror and the tiniest little sink right in the corner here. Just too awesome. And, uh... Yeah, there is more, of course, because there is a second floor. I just noticed this tambourine and little hands. <laughs> it reminds me of that girl on uh, TikTok. What's her name? Oh, man, I don't remember her name. It's kind of... Uh... Oh, we got more binoculars here. We got a Campbell's jar. It's a bunch of letters. Pop culture trivia. Wow, man. This is freaking awesome. So then we go upstairs and of course we have more artifacts. I love these old lanterns right here. Those are really cool. Dude, literally every piece of wall for the most part is covered. I've never seen anything like this. I love the furniture too. The furniture is, uh, yeah, I don't know why. She just like, the way everything's kind of done, it all just works. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's just so unique. Yellowstone National Park. So we got two bedrooms up here. 
Um, oh my god, look at this horseshoe. Whoa, that thing's old. So we got one bedroom here. With, of course, more artwork. I wonder if that's like the original part of the house. That's uh, pretty awesome. More funky furniture. I'm actually surprised that the bed is just like a normal modern bed. But uh, there is one thing we have to do every time I come into either a hotel or Airbnb. Oh, it's actually comfortable. You'd be surprised how many friggin' places I go to and the beds are absolutely horrible. What the hell was that? It literally almost sounded like somebody walked into this room. Hello? Okay. <laughs> uh, so as I was saying, you'd be surprised how many places that I go to and the beds are like just horrible. So for example, I went all the way up to Pickle Lake, Ontario, which is the furthest, uh, most northern place you can drive in Ontario that's connected to highways. Um, and the beds at the Pickle Lake Hotel was a pretty decent place for what it was and where it was, really. But holy crap, man, those beds were awful. I noticed these little chairs over here. Those are cool. I wonder all where, like, where has she been getting all this stuff from? I guess we can't open this. No, I guess not. Well, I mean, that's kind of in the way anyway. Um, okay, let's go over to the second room here. This one's a little bit smaller. Wow. And I love the way the uh, the ceiling is designed like that too. That's really cool. Same thing out there. We got Lake Superior, which is pretty much right outside of our front door almost. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it for the uh, Airbnb that we're going to be staying at tonight. Um, I personally love this place. I'm going to head downstairs. So personally, I'm kind of like in love with this place just because it's it's so quirky and unique and wacky in like a really cool way. Um, some people personally probably wouldn't like this. Like I know my mom definitely would not like a place like this because She's just got like OCD and she's a neat freak and likes to be extremely organized. This is her own version of organized, the lady who owns this house. Um, but to my mom, it would just be too much stuff. But some people like this stuff. For me, just because it's an Airbnb, it's unique because at least there's constantly something to look at. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably go and take a quick peek at the basement and uh, yeah, show you guys that. Okay, I just heard something. Is there like someone outside? I don't see anything. Kind of dark out there, but... Uh, hang on, let's see if we hear it again. That was kind of weird, it almost sounded like a cat. But at the same time, it almost kind of sounded like somebody spoke. Well, clearly she does have a cat, but why would the cat be here when she's not here? <laughs> that kind of doesn't make any sense. I hate it when that happens too. The moment you stop filming and then all of a sudden you hear something and you're like, damn, I would have liked to catch that on camera. I don't know, I have no idea what that was. Maybe it was like an appliance or something. I also just noticed something. There's so many rugs that I keep like tripping. But I uh, noticed this. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> 
but uh, okay. I guess we can go and maybe take a peek at the basement. So I was setting up the camera, and I swear I just heard what sounded like walking upstairs. I was trying to figure out what it was. <laughs> Hello? So I was going to go in the basement, but uh, unfortunately the basement is off limits, which is fine. Totally understandable if people have their personal objects down there or whatever. It was pretty loud though. It was like, gloom, gloom, gloom. It kind of sounded like it came from upstairs. I get kind of like a vibe that there might be something in here. I don't think it's... It doesn't feel like negative. Which I guess it's a good thing because we're going to stay the night. I'm going to have the spirit talker running. Me. Me! Whoa, that was quick. Who are you? very faint. Is there somebody in the house with me? You said me. Does anybody want to talk to me? I feel like there's a presence here. Are you upstairs? This might be a little bit slow to get started, but it's worth a try. I mean, really. Do you feel me? Yes, actually, I do. Where are you? Something cold right behind this chair. Okay. To be honest with you, I thought it was going to take a lot longer than this to actually get something here. This is uh, quite surprising. Is there someone standing behind my chair? Right here? I can... It's gone now. I felt a cold spot right here where my hand is. Was that you? If there is somebody here, can you make a knock? Sir. Sir. I've never seen any responses like this before. This is different. Okay, something is making noise. Where is that coming from? I heard someone walking around. Where'd you go? To 
to me it sounded like someone was upstairs before I started rolling. I mean, then again, it could have been from anywhere, really. Like, is there something outside? <laughs> I don't really know. It's kind of hard to see from here. Suffer. Suffer? Did you suffer? Is that what happened? Some of the noises we're hearing are obviously from the fireplace. I have no idea how to turn it off, to be honest. <laughs> At some point I'd like to, because it's a little bit hot in here. But then again, it's really cold outside, so maybe that's not a good idea. Whoa. I'm feeling a bit of a cold spot here. Whoa, I just noticed this thing. Look at that. Wow. That's incredible. Dude, the things in here are awesome. Like, look at that. <laughs> Impeach Nixon. Jimmy Carter for president. Chair. Chair? Oh my god! Yes, the chair! Wow. Okay. I think we might have something, guys. What about the chair? Then again, which chair are they even referring to? I don't even know. This chair? Do you like this chair with all the cool things on them? Or are you referring to the fact that it, I felt something behind my chair? that I was just sitting in. Let me uh, put this back. Liam. Liam. Okay, we just got the name Liam. That is interesting. It did say Sir, and then we had Liam. Sir, is your name Liam? I'm waiting to hear those noises again. And I did hear that thing again. It, it literally sounded like a cat. Different. Different? What's your name? My name's Angelo. What's your name? Let's uh move this upstairs for a second. Okay, we definitely heard something up here. Let's go up here for a few minutes and uh see if we hear it more clearly. Whoa, it's cold up here. Are you up here? What if we sit here in the center? Oh. Top. Top. Are you referring to up here? Oh, that tripped me out. I was seeing colors in this uh, mirror over here, but I realized it's just the colors from this thing. I heard you walk around a couple of times. Were you up here? Up top? Is that what you're referring to?
I heard someone walking up here. Can you tell me if that was you? Hmm. Well, you were asking about my name. Okay. You're asking about my name. My name is Angelo, and I'm what's known as a paranormal investigator. I actually go to haunted locations normally, and I communicate with ghosts, or at least try to. Now, I'm not sure if you're too familiar with communicating with humans. I don't know if anybody's ever actually tried that with you, but I'm here now, and I would love to continue to have a chat, if you will, hoping whatever's here is obviously friendly. I come in peace. I mean you no harm. Just want to talk to you. See if there is in fact somebody here. And so far it seems like you've answered pretty spot on. I am going to probably be sleeping in this room tonight. It's nice and spacious. <laughs> Was this your room? You can continue to answer on that thing that I have over there. It seems like you've been uh, able to use it so far. Holy man, I'm getting like the worst headache. Which for those of you who might be new here, um, that's kind of like a telltale sign. I have been told before that I might be an empath. Like, I can feel things, but then again, I've also seen a lot of things. Like, I have seen... Wind carries laughter. Wind carries laughter. Now, that's a different response. I've never heard that come out of that before. These responses are very different tonight. Are you connected to the house? Or is there something maybe connected to an item inside of the house? Maybe you can give me a clue as to what that might be. I've also been told that it may actually be a medium, but I mean, I imagine that would probably take some <laughs> some practice training to get used to. Emotional. You're emotional. Okay. Are you saying I'm emotional or you're emotional? All right. Let's maybe uh, take this back downstairs and. Uh, See if we can get a few more responses and clues as to what might be going on in here. Maybe I'll bust out the spirit box and see if we get something. Let's uh, take this back downstairs. God protects this place. God protects this place. Well, that's good to know. That's uh, actually quite comforting. Hmm. Like I said, I do feel like... The uh, energy in here is really positive. I feel that just kind of flowing through this place. All right, well, I'm going to be around for a little bit if you want to come and show yourself to me. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think you guys can kind of see it. Should be able to see it, but the REM pod is behind me right now. Turn up this light a little bit for you. It's better. As I was like kind of trying to set up the camera, that for some reason was going off. I don't, I don't know why. It was like, good. Can you make that stop please? Thanks. Huh, okay. <laughs> uh, what the hell was that? That was interesting. It sounded like something hit the window and then like a hand streaked down. So I feel like we're onto something in this place. Um, whatever it is doesn't feel negative per se. Um, 
So it is going to be kind of like a chill investigation, so far anyways. Let's turn the spirit talker back on. I just kind of wanted to relocate and maybe get a feel of this area. Um, I did put the lav mic on because the fireplace thingy is really loud. And it's also really hot. <laughs> so I had to turn it off for a bit. So this is what I'm talking about. I don't know why it's doing that. Is there somebody playing around with that thing? Maybe it's the boxes that it's sitting on. That's like those little trinket boxes. There is like some other stuff in those. I'll show you guys after. She's coming. She's coming. Who is she? This will try out the uh, direct link a little bit. See that? Is she here? Me? Can you tell me your name? Okay. That thing is clearly picking something up. That was odd. The second I took my finger off of this, it stopped. That's someone? Go up. Go up. Is there someone upstairs? Literally said there's, it said go up. Why do you want me to go up? Is there a reason why you want me to go up? That sounded like a rim pod. Okay, the rim pod didn't go off, right? I also have the uh, music box over there on the stairs. I can make it cold. Dude, these answers tonight are spot on. It is feeling cold in here. I don't know if that's because I turned the fireplace off. Um, or is somebody making it cold in here right now? That was the REM pod noise again! It's coming through here! I've never heard that before. Is... I don't know how that's even possible. Is this place a portal? It sounded like it said go up again. Why do you want me to go up so bad? I swear I keep hearing the REM pod sound coming through here. That is so odd. That's actually pretty amazing. It's like... It's like the energy in here is just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like overwhelming and it's a lot of everything, probably because of all the items in here. And I think maybe we might have something because of that. Do people come through a portal in this house? The land. The land, wow. said the land. Just let it focus here in a second. Focus, please. Oh, man. This, uh, that's weird. Why is the camera not focusing? Better? There we go. Yeah, so it said the land. What about the land? You can use this black box in my hand tell me just about anything try and make a connection with me make a connection to me 
and then use me to communicate with the box. I keep hearing that REM pod noise coming through here. I've never heard that before. Be careful in here. Is that a warning? Should I, should I be uh, careful as to how I investigate or how I communicate with the other side? I feel like this place might have a connection to the other side because of everything in here. <laughs> okay, something really cool is happening in this place right now. Is there something connected to the land? Can you make that thing go off if that's, that's true? Sense of death. Ow. I got this weird cramp in my stomach all of a sudden. What do you mean by sense of death? What is that supposed to mean? I have an idea. This, this could could be a little different. Um, just give me one second. So, <laughs> okay, make that stop, please. I don't even know why that's going off. <laughs> huh. Strange how it's doing that. So, I noticed there was a magic eight ball. Now I've never used a magic eight ball for a ghost hunt before, but this could be fun. Um, all right, spirits. How about we try and use this magic eight ball in my hand to answer questions? Is there something in this house? Hopefully it works. It says, Church bell tolls. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Reply hazy. Try again. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says reply hazy. Please try again. It's been so long since I've used one of these. This is really funny. Okay. Is that your answer? I mean, some of the responses are pretty accurate. Church bell tolls. I don't even know if there is a church in this area. Um, all right, we're gonna try this again. Is there something connected to this house? You may rely on it. <laughs> that is so awesome. Burden. So I don't know if this is like actually working, but <laughs> burden. Is somebody burdened here? Am I a burden? Let's go with, is there, I don't even know. Are you burdened by maybe being stuck to this land? That's something. Signs point to yes. Well, that's interesting. Are there any spirits here that want to talk to me? It's getting really cold in here. Like I said, I did turn the furnace off, so maybe that's why. Yes. Okay, I guess they want to talk. All right, um, well, why don't you make a sound? If you walk right there in front of those steps, there's something there that will tell me that you're there. Can you do that? You also told me to go upstairs. Can you tell me why? We're going to try this black box again. It's called a direct link. Badly. Badly. 
Why do you want me to go upstairs so badly? I don't understand. Is that where you're going to communicate with me? Yeah. Dude, the REM pod sounds. Again. Stay. Stay. Is there more than one spirit here communicating? One telling me to go up, one telling me to stay? How? Once again, do you want me to go upstairs and talk to you? Okay, well, I'm going to go upstairs. Alright, let's go upstairs and uh, try this up there. Honestly, I was thinking of doing like a lights out challenge, but only problem is there's like 50 billion Agreed. lights. <laughs> Agree. They want me to do a lights out challenge. Um, the only problem is that there's like 50 billion random lights everywhere, and I would not even know where to start to turn them all off, so... I'm not going to do that because it is already really late and I do have some editing to do and I do want to get some sleep. But tomorrow, um, I am going to go around and document the area. I'm probably going to go to a ghost town. I'm going to go to the marina, which is literally back there. I also want to show you like what the outside of this area looks like because this is probably one of my favorite areas. Now that I've done a lot of Northern Ontario and I've seen what a lot of it li looks like, I think my two favorite areas up here so far are probably Red Rock, which I want to do again in the summer, just when it's warmer and the views are better. And here in Wawa is absolutely marvelous. Um, you guys just wait. You're not going to want to miss that tomorrow because it's, it's going to blow your mind just how beautiful this place is. And I'm kind of, I'm curious to know like how different it is during the winter, like what it looks like here in the winter. Cause we've been here during the summer, gorgeous. Um, but I imagine in the winter, it's probably gonna look pretty cool too. Just unfortunately we won't be able to swim. That's the only problem, but let's head on upstairs and uh, see what we get. So as I was down here getting all organized, I heard something creak up here again. I mean, it could just be house settling noises as well, but it sounded like somebody took a step. Is there somebody up here? So I'm going to set myself up in here. Um, since I'm sleeping in here, I mean, I might as well know if it's haunted or not, right? But it kind of sounded like whatever it was, was maybe over here. I don't really know. But yeah, it seems like every time I'm downstairs, I hear something up here. So, all right, let's uh, continue this investigation. Oh man, you guys have absolutely no freaking idea how exhausted I am. Also, I haven't had a haircut in a while. <laughs> so my hair is just getting out of control at this point. Oh man, um, oops, my bad. Probably put that down a little too hard. Shut up. <laughs> so, Thank you. Um, so, this road trip has just been a lot of driving, a lot of filming, uh, a lot of editing, just a lot of... Something moved over there. Um, a lot of on the go, just constantly on the go. Um, I'm, try I'm trying to like kind of change it up a little bit. I want to do something a little bit different and kind of figure out a way to mix everything together and make this exciting and fun. It, it is exciting already to begin with. I mean, this stuff is pretty cool. I love doing like the haunted stuff, but one thing that I really realized is that I want to do a lot of cool adventures, unique places that a lot of people don't really go to, right? And that's the reason why we went up to Pickle Lake, um, which was one hell of an adventure, let me tell you. So I met a bunch of people, uh, made some new friends, really, really good stuff. But uh, yeah, let's uh, finish up this investigation. Um, it seems like there's nothing really crazy in here. Um, I'm just going to say that straight up. This investigation so far has been definitely on the lighter side, which is fine. Um, sometimes you're going to get that. You're going to get these lighter investigations. Sometimes you're going to get the crazy investigations where things are moving and there's a lot of loud noises, but it all depends, right? It all depends. 
So sometimes you also get a slow night, but so far I'm really liking this place and uh, I just want to like see if we can communicate with something up here since we keep hearing a lot of noises. Again, we don't really know the backstory of this house. It's evident the house itself is pretty old. Um, so maybe people have passed away in here. Um, maybe bringing in all the artifacts and all these things from around the world has, you know, um, maybe created some sort of portal. And the reason why I say that is because over the years I've learned a lot of different things. For example, um, when we did the brewery, there was a lot of religious artifacts that were brought in by Father John, and that created some sort of weird amalgamation where there was almost like a conflict between all these cultures, and I feel like that is a possibility here as well. I don't know. I have no idea. I do own haunted artifacts myself, and I am going to eventually investigate with them, or, you know, experiment with them, if you will. I've been just kind of collecting a few things, and uh, we kind of want to tie up loose ends before we film that sort of series. Um, and I also want to kind of get a few more things, too, and make it really interesting, and kind of figure out how we want to go about doing it. But anyways, um, let's focus on what we're doing here. Alright, let's get the Spirit Talker running once again. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a laid-back experiment here. <laughs> not really so much of an experiment, more... Uh, it's definitely a basic investigation. We're not going crazy tonight because I am just pooped. <laughs> I think in this one week alone so far, tomorrow I have like another 8-9 hours to go, but I think I've done like 30-32 to 32 hours so far on this one trip. It has been insane, the amount of driving I've had to do to get all this done. Again, possibly just house settling noises. I mean, it is frigid outside. Alright, is there anybody that wants to communicate with me up here? If maybe it's a person who used to live here previously, I'd like to say I really like your home. I'm also really liking what the uh, current owner has done with the place. I also just noticed this crazy... Is that a fan? Or is that a light? That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you still want to talk? I know it's getting a little bit late. Maybe we'll try this again. Alright, while well, I'm upstairs, you told me to come up here. Dog. Dog. Share my message. Share my message. That might have just been me. Sacrifice. Sacrifice? Was there... Whoa. Was somebody sacrificed on this land? I thought I heard something down there. To me, it almost sounded like somebody went... Ooh. What the heck? <laughs> so I am on my own. Um, there's no one here with me right now. That was creepy. I don't. I hope the camera picked that up. I do have the double-sided mic, so it might have picked up behind as well. Okay. Did somebody just say something inside of the house? He pushed. Who pushed? Who's who is he?
Is there, you, you said, share my message. What is your message? Almost sound like a cupboard opened or something. What the heck? Did somebody just make a noise down there? Should I go check? I'm just waiting to see if I hear anything else. You said to share my message. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Okay. Are you welcoming me into this house? I guess that's a good thing. Is there some... Philip. We just got Philip. Okay, Philip. Can you uh, tell me what your deal is? Did you die here? Was Philip the one that pushed someone? See, now the answers are not really making that much sense. Dog, share my message, sacrifice. He pushed, don't be afraid, and Philip. Trying to tie all the puzzle pieces together. Why do I feel like there's something up here right now? Shush. Whoa. That was kind of rude. Why are you shushing me? I'm really confused by what you're saying right now. It's not really making much sense. Hey. What? Hey. Like, horse hay? Oh no, it just said hey, like as in, hey, how are you? <laughs> it's very nasty here. No, no. I don't, I don't feel that. I mean, then again, I haven't been here long enough to really say otherwise, nor have I experienced anything that tells me that. Hmm. I don't see anything out of place. Weird. It sounded like a door or a cupboard or something, I don't know. Okay, well I think I'm pretty much done. I'm, uh, really tired. To be honest with you, I'm just like, ready to maybe take a bath. <laughs> and, uh, do some editing, relax for a little bit, and then just go to sleep, because I gotta... Haunted. Haunted. Okay, we just got haunted, that's cool. Alright, well, appreciate your time, spirits, um, or energy, or whatever it is that's going on Alex. in here. What? Malachis. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of Malachis before. I might uh, Google it after, but yeah, I'm going to relax for a bit, and uh, we will see you guys in the morning. Or, hang on, I have an idea. <laughs> Ah, just 
what I needed after a very long road trip. And we're still not even done yet. We still gotta drive home. <laughs> Eight, nine hours. Anyways, again guys, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so this is pretty much the last leg of this adventure. I've loaded up the car and uh, I'm gonna go and explore some of the area. Yes, yes, I hear you, bird. <laughs> so I'm gonna go explore some of the area. First, I'm gonna probably find something to eat. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you what it looks like out here because this is beautiful. I couldn't see any of this last night because obviously it was super dark. Um, but yeah, there is a marina. Uh, it's very nice. So quiet. It's very, very quiet out here. So they have their own lake on this side and then on the other side of town you have Superior. But uh, yeah, this is the outside of the house. So obviously an older property that they've fixed up. You can see the old chimney sticking out there, which is pretty cool. <sighs> yeah, there's the uh, marina. Let's walk through here for a sec. Look at that. What a beautiful sight. I could only imagine how nice it would look out here during the summer with this view. You can actually see it from the top bedroom, which is literally right there. Uh, and then further down a little bit, you have that side. Kind of looks like there's a little abandoned house. I don't know if it's actually abandoned, but it just kind of looks that way. But yeah, that's the, uh, the view over here. So I know there's like a beautiful waterfall and I just kind of have to see it. Um, but first we're gonna head into town, grab something to eat. And uh, cause I am freaking starving, I don't know why. Every morning I keep waking up, I'm so hungry. Maybe it's just because I've been working so hard on this series. But yeah, let's see what there is to eat and uh, head on over. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is funny. I uh, made an error, I did not realize this, but where I was was actually Michipicoden or Mikapikatin. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. It's still technically part of Wawa, um, but it's funny because I didn't realize where I was on the maps when I actually arrived last night, but now I'm actually in more the downtown area of Wawa. It is very, very small, very quiet. Couple of restaurants. Um, I actually went to the Wawa Goose Bar and Grill, and it was actually pretty cool in there. They had a lot of uh, um, what do you call them? Like the taxidermy stuff, like the the heads of all the animals and a bunch of other taxidermy things. Really, really cool place. Really nice people here. I'm uh, enjoying it because they're very talkative. Um, they actually enjoy other people's company. They're not just there to do their job. I mean, obviously they are. Um, one of the sad things though was that she was telling me that she is the youngest lady working there. She's like, I can't remember exactly what she said, but mid to late 60s. Um, and she was the youngest person working there. One of the people in the kitchen who was there was 71. And she was basically saying that because it's like, at this point, we've gotten to the point where it's almost impossible to live. Anyways, um, yeah, there was actually another thing that she told me that was quite interesting, but we'll get to that. So basically where I am is I'm on the main lake here in Wawa. So Wawa, like I said, is kind of in between two lakes. You have the small lake, which is this one, and then you have the much bigger lake, which is Superior. I'm going to head over there after because there's a really cool waterfall I want to check out. And then I want to head to a spot known as Sandy Beach, which is where I went to two years ago, just because it's so beautiful. This area is gorgeous. So that is the lake. I believe it's Lake Wawa, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it's a pretty gorgeous view. I can imagine what this would look like during the summer. We actually didn't even come to this side. So like I was saying, um, the spot where I was at was uh, Michipikahodin or Mikapikatin or whatever it's called. Um, that part is actually closer to Lake Superior, so we're going to head back there in a second. I just wanted to come down here, get some gas, and uh, get something to eat. The other thing that she said that was really interesting was she was saying, you know what our biggest problem is? And the reason why everybody's kind of in this situation where now they can no longer afford to live? She said the biggest problem was the government. And I'm like, 
yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. So uh, yeah, this is uh, just a little snippet here of Wawa. Uh, very, very nice place. So quiet. Like there's very few vehicles kind of even driving around. It is very cold. It's like eight degrees Celsius right now. Um, but it feels colder. And I think it's just because we're in between two lakes right now. So that lake effect is just really kicking my ass. All right, let's go to uh, the waterfall and then Sandy Beach. So here we have the, uh, whoa, almost mean downtown. <laughs> I'm gonna like slip and break my leg. Um, so there's a subway up there and there's a funny story about that subway. So basically when we came here two years ago, uh, we were still in sort of like a lockdown. So you couldn't eat inside. So I remember uh, we picked up subway. I think we actually came there twice back to back because there literally everything else was closed. So that was our pretty much our only option other than chips here from the gas station. And uh, Basically, we were like, you know, eating these damn subs on the back of Mo's pickup truck at the time because we couldn't eat outside, but luckily it was warm at the time because I think we came in late spring, early summer. I don't really remember the exact time frame, but man, did we ever have a blast on that trip. So I've made it to a waterfall uh, area anyway. This is really funny. Uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of different signs. Lake uh, Titicac is 8,000 kilometers, North Pole 3,775, Australia is 18,000 kilometers. That's pretty funny. So I'm not really sure where the heck these falls are, but so I think there's one down there, but I don't really see anything. It's really scenic out here. Damn, look at that. Um, and then I think there's supposed to be one on this side, but again, I have no idea how to get to it never been to it before so this is kind of all new so it's kind of funny because uh i was trying to get to another waterfall only problem was that the road was completely closed off i assume obviously because it's winter time i wonder if i can see it from this bridge this one might be a bust just like the earlier one which is gonna kind of suck there's a random picnic bench but <laughs> that's about it uh let's see let's see so that's the waterfall, I believe. All this right here. It's just pretty much frozen over. There's not enough uh, flowing water for it to actually be a waterfall. And then down there, I think that's the other one right there. So normally during the summer, I believe those would be flowing, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there is a lot of thin ice, so we cannot walk that way, but uh, Let's go check out one more thing. Just needed to stop for a second just to take in this view. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. That is more of Lake Superior. It's such a massive lake that it just goes forever. Damn. So there was a famous painting that was actually uh, created here of this view. But I am going to go further down the road where I'm heading right now. I don't know if you can see it from here is like right down there there are a bunch of amazing beaches uh, we made it to probably one of the most beautiful areas in my opinion in all of Ontario I just had to come and see what this thing looks like in the winter there's no freezing uh, nothing's frozen Man, I remember this place. We had such a fun time here. <laughs> Amazing. Check this out, guys. What a freaking view. Holy. Let's get a little bit closer to the, uh, the water here. I don't know what that sign says, but... Oh, I think that's uh, where the, the dude was painting things. There was a... What was it? The Group of Seven. It was like seven amazing artists and can you imagine how cold this water would be so I remember I think the harbor is somewhere like down in that area wow just magical holy I literally never thought I'd be here in the winter time this is just something else it's actually beautiful in the winter too not a lot of snow over here <laughs>
Yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous here. Look at all this ice. <laughs> Holy. I guess uh, when it like mildly freezes over, then the waves come in. It just brings in all this ice. Let's go further up here to the water. Look how nice the sand is here. It's actually unbelievable that we have beaches and sand like this in Ontario. Wow. But yeah, you could probably, I think you can walk literally up until there. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to maybe try to drive into the ghost town. I don't know how well this is going to work. I believe it's somewhere down there. I'm not really certain anymore. <laughs> uh, but damn, I just had to come and take this in. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys. Well, that looks to be it for uh, Walla, Ontario. Um, honestly, I probably wouldn't come back here in the winter. Probably wouldn't really recommend it. It's a very nice place during the summer. Um, kind of a bust because we were trying to get into that ghost town. Pretty much a no-go. Uh, not gonna happen. There was a waterfall I wanted to see but can't access that during the winter either because the roads are closed. And uh, that's pretty much all she wrote for this trip. I'm gonna head back home to Brampton. I got about nine and a half hours. At least we got plenty of daylight, so I'll get back early and uh, yeah, rest up and get ready for the next adventure. Apart from that, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like of course, because it really helps out the channel. Leave a nice comment down below, um, and that's pretty much it. Love you. Bye bye.